What if I told you we can fit a bunch of WordPress and PHP sites into a BPS? Well, it is possible once you understand the usage limits. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to understand the usage limits of a BPS so you can see how many sites you can install. Now on this video, we're gonna use our sponsored BPS, which is Hostinger. And they sponsored us a BPS that we're going to use. So we're gonna talk about the limits of that BPS and how you can measure it under each panel so you can see how many sites you can install. So let's go jump over to the deal. Our sponsor is Hostinger. So like I said, we're gonna use their BPS and we're gonna understand their limits to see how many sites we are going to install. Now to check out the plans, we're gonna go into the BPS section and we're gonna go to BPS hosting. We can install several WordPress or PHP sites once we understand the limits. Now there's several BPS available. For example, this BPS2, which is the one we're gonna use for this demo, that's the one that they provided us. Now you're gonna see there's 40 gigabytes of disk space. And it's gonna depend a lot on the site that you want to install, but let's just say that you have a clean WordPress installation with just a landing page and a few pages inside of them. Well, it's going to be roughly 100 to 150 megabytes, which is not a lot, right? I mean, that you can fit a bunch of sites inside of here. Now, you would fit over 100 sites, but we have to take account other limits. Now, if this was a WooCommerce site, I would roughly estimate 200 to 250 megabytes of space. Now that's, it's going to depend a lot. PHP sites can go from 50 megabytes to a bunch. All right. So it just depends. Okay. Next limit we have is obviously the disk space. Now, like I said, you can install a bunch of sites inside of here. Next thing you have to take account of is two terabytes of a bandwidth. Now the bandwidth is depending on the traffic that you are using. Now be aware, there's a trick around this. So for example, you can reduce the bandwidth usage if you are using a CDN, so a content delivery network. We'll talk about that in a bit more in a bit, okay? You get one snapshot, which most BPS providers don't provide that for free. So in this case, it's including one snapshot. So snapshot is like a, obviously like a snapshot of the whole file manager and everything you have installed on that server. So in case something goes wrong, you can go back into that snapshot and it'll be up and running again. Weekly backups, dedicated IP, so you have your own IP for this. You're not sharing an IP like you would on shared hosting. And you have full root access, which is the beauty about BPS. You have access to this to install different types of situations, especially with PHP sites where you need full root access. And next we have a few more limits that we have to take into account which is the RAM, for example, the BPS2, which was the one we we're gonna test, is two gigabytes of RAM. Again, those are things that you have to consider for the limitations of installing several sites. Now, we are going to measure all of this inside of the H panel of Hostinger, so we don't go overboard with this, okay? Next, we have to check out is the iNode limit. This is the file count limit. Now, WordPress sites vary on file count depending on the theme that you're going to install, depending on the plugins, and also depending on the cache plugin. Cache plugins load a bunch of files because they, ha they have them ready to use. So consider those things, okay? Now, that's pretty cool that you get all of this in the plan. Now, do consider that there's a discount with this. So it's $4.99 a month for the BPS2 plan, but there's an additional discount that I'm going to show you. So if I select this plan, if I want to purchase this one, I'm gonna go ahead and select it. Okay, and here's the shopping cart process. Now, if you select more months, which is 48 months, you get the lowest price. I would recommend that unless you're not too sure, you can start month to month or 12 months or 24 months, but you're gonna pay more month to month. So locking in this price would be the way to go. Now there's an additional discount, which I'm going to show you. If you select have a coupon code, so check this out. Right now it's $239.52. But if you use my coupon code, SASMaster, and apply it, check this out. Wait for that to change. And now it's $222 with 79, 75 cents. So take advantage of that coupon code. Now, let's go check out the BPS on Hostinger. So once you go through the step-by-step -step guide of installing your BPS, which is super easy, select country, select the OS that you want to use for your BPS, and once you can do that, you're gonna be greeted here. Now, this is the one that we're going to use for video, and we're gonna go into manage. Now, inside of here, we're gonna know how our BPS is behaving because this is the H panel from Hostinger. 
Now we're going to be able to view CPU usage. Now this is brand new, so there's zero percentage. Memory usage, 10%. Disk usage, one gigabyte. And the bandwidth, well, practically zero, okay? So once we install our WordPress sites on a BPS manager, we're going to be able to come back here and check these settings, well, these parameters, to see if we can install more sites. Now on this, if we were to install WordPress sites with a bunch, I don't know, not a bunch, like a five pages, okay? So it would be like a landing page per se. I would say you could probably fit safely around 20 sites inside of this. Now you're gonna have to obviously consider the traffic of these sites. Now if they go crazy with traffic, well, you'd have to reduce that amount of sites you're going to install. Now there's also the server usage here where you're gonna be, view the load average, the CPU usage, RAM usage, number of processes, and everything that you need to know about your BPS here just so you don't go overboard with the limits or you don't hit those limits because we want to live leave some wiggle room for the bps right now how do we install a bps well, how, do we, how do we install wordpress sites and php sites well you're going to install this on a bps manager okay now what i'm going to use for this demo video i'm going to use server avatar okay now to do that we're going to go into server avatar but before we do that, I just want to show you this one. So I've added this site. It's a WordPress site and it's 201 megabytes. All right. So that's all it weighs. And it's an LMS site. So in this, I have courses in this site. For example, this is a demo site that I've created for courses and you have a dashboard for this. There's courses in here. Then you go into the WordPress site. You're going to see that it's a full installation. There's an SEO plugin. There's the LMS plugin for the for the courses, their security plugin, there's an image compressor, and it's only 201 megabytes. So just consider that. So let's install a brand new BPS inside of here. Now, server avatar has a free plan, but you can only install one site, but for roughly $2, you can have unlimited sites to install, okay? So how do you get started to install our Hostinger BPS plan? We're gonna connect the server here, and we're gonna select well, first select the name. So I'll just name it for video because that's what I'm going to call it. Now we can install the o L LAMP, LAMP or OLS. Um, open light speed is my preferred choice because it's optimized for WordPress sites, but some PHP sites like um, some SASs might need to go on Apache or Nginx, okay? So in this case, we'll use open light speed. Okay, next thing it's going to ask us is the IP address. That we're gonna grab it in the Hostinger, Hostinger plan. So let me copy this, put the IP address, and yes, I have root password. Um, I'm gonna type it in. If you don't have it, you can go ahead and reset it, okay? Now I've connected it, and I'll show you how to reset the password just in case you don't know your BPS root password, okay? Okay, there we go. It sta started successful execution of inspection script. So now it's installing the script. Okay, so we can start installing on, on sites on this. Now, like I said, if you forget your password, go back to H panel and you're gonna go to BPS access and the SSH password, we can go ahead and change it here in case you forget it and you don't have the original password, you can just go ahead and reset it and create a new one, okay? Just so you know. Now let's go back into the installation and we're gonna give it a few minutes for this to finish the installation. There we go, our server has now been installed. You can see here, we have the details of the CPU model name, total cores, time zone, and the uptime for this. So now we have a BPS manager, and this is, is going to enable us to install WordPress sites and PHP sites. Now, how easy or hard is that? Well, it's super easy with this. So let's go ahead and go into applications, create, and we're gonna name this um, test, and we're gonna test.com now be aware that we have to point our dns domains to this ip all right so in this case it's just for testing so i'm going to go into advanced options just to show you i'm going to install the latest php which is 8.1 and we're not going to mess with the other settings so let's create and continue so right now what it's going to do it's going to install a php site to begin from that we're going to convert it into a wordpress site again super easy nothing complex so the application has been installed. Now we have a file manager inside of this. So if we were to use this as a PHP site, we'll go into the file manager and load in our files and create a database for this. But if we wanna convert this into a WordPress site, we'll go to auto deploy and we have these options, okay? But in this case, we're going to install a WordPress site and I'll just say test test, there we go. Database name, 
test, test, install. Like I said, if it was a PHP site, it'll clean that up, but there's nothing installed in this. We have this intended for WordPress. So now what it's going to do, it's going to install a WordPress site. Now this is a completely new installation with nothing on it. Like there's no plugins. So I'm going to show you how much space that's going to take. So you have to consider that. Now if we have well-optimized sites, we're able to load in a bunch of sites. And like I said, if we're using CDN, Content Delivery Network, we can install even more sites because some of the load is taken off from the server hosting and it's loaded from the CDN. Now we have, for example, if we go to File Manager, we're going to view the files from the WordPress installation, public HTML, and here we go, WP Admin, WP Content, WP Includes, all, have that, all of that has been installed. And if we go back, a database has also been created automatically for WordPress sites. So if we go into databases, here it is, it's been installed already. So we have a database and we have a fully workable WordPress site. Once we point our domain to this IP address, because this is going to take, a, take care of all the files and load it, well, you have a site ready to go. Now, like I said, if we need to measure the usage over here, we'll go into server usage and it'll give us an overview of how much these sites are taking up. So for example, right now it had a spike because obviously the installation process of the BPS manager that we just installed and the site that we loaded, but then it, it went back down. So the usage is going down and basically there's practically no usage because it's a clean site and no traffic on it. So these are things that you have to measure to understand how many sites you want to install on a BPS. But I, I honestly, I would say if you're just going to install landing pages with a few pages inside of them, like a contact about us, those kind of pages, you can easily install 20 WordPress sites on this particular BPS as a parameter, okay? And if these sites don't have a lot of traffic, then you're good to go, you can install even more. But that is it. That is how you're going to install a bunch of sites on your BPS plan from Hostinger. Don't forget to use the coupon code when you grab the plan. And that's a wrap.